got to get my fans up on me. They dig enough. I'm going to be about to sell them. Thinking about trade. I'm going to go dig them up. Before today's video starts, please be sure to go in the description down below and check out MMOXP. They offer any amount of runes that you guys would like to purchase. They also offer any type of item that you would like in the game if you need it. They have cheap prices. They have fast delivery. And they have 24-7 support. And when you guys are checking out, make sure you do use code C2K for a 5% discount. Remember, the link is in the description down below. Enjoy the video. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Charles TK. Come back to you guys with another video. And as you guys see from the title of today's video, I'm about to show you guys three brand new rune glitches on Elden Ring after the most recent patch. Now, before I even do get started and tell you guys what you're going to be doing, make sure you guys do drop a like on this video and make sure you do go into the pinned comment down below and join my Discord. Now, without further ado, for the first glitch, what you guys are going to be needing is a bow of your choice. It really does not matter, but for the um, video, I'm going to be using the horn bow. As you guys can see, it is going to be fully upgraded and you guys are going to need you some sleep bone arrows you can use either one of these that i have the sleep bone the regular arrows or the fletched ones it's completely up to you just make sure you have a bow and make sure you are using these arrows right here if you don't know how to get these arrows i will leave a video in the pin comment down below explaining how to get them but nonetheless once you guys have those and you have everything equipped all you want to do is make your way down to the god scan noble if you guys don't know how to get here just look it up on youtube but once you guys are in here what you're going to do is equip your sleepy arrows and simply just shoot him with your bow like i'm doing right now until he does fall asleep now once you guys have made him fall asleep all you want to do is simply walk up on him like i'm doing right now you can use the rivers of blood katana you can use anything you guys want you can even use the comet azure to completely one shot him you guys just want to simply use something that inflicts a whole bunch of damage and as you guys can see just off those few arrows in the rivers of blood katana he is almost dead but if you guys do not kill him in one trip all you guys similarly are going to do is rinse and repeat which is shoot him with the arrows like you guys see me doing right now and as soon as he goes to sleep just go ahead and hit him again and basically that is going to be the easiest way to defeat the god skin noble after the most recent patch that patched the other glitch when he would just freeze in place so this is a very very good substitute for that if you guys do ask me as you guys can see it's very easy and simple to do that not hard at all and yeah once you guys kill him you'll be given 200 thousand rooms depending on what um new game plus you guys are in so please do keep that in mind but that is going to do it for glitch number one on to glitch number two and now as for glitch number two goes here's what you guys are going to be needing you're going to be needing a finger seal you're going to be needing a bow as you guys can see and you guys are going to be needing some scarlet rot arrows as you guys can see now if you don't know how to make these once again it will be in the pin comment down below explaining how you guys can make this and you will just need you a shield if you um don't have this brass shield you get it at gate front by killing the guards so please do keep that in mind also another Another thing you guys want to do is become familiar with this area right here that you guys see me in it's literally right next to the castle you just want to make sure that you can see the under like the little under tunnel of the castle that's how you know you are in the right spot just remember this spot because you're going to be needing it when you are doing the glitch and now as for the glitch goes here's what you guys want to do you simply want to start the boss battle with radon like you guys see me doing right now you don't want to use any of the summons at all all you're going to do is continuously spam him with the rotten arrows or you can use the rotten breath spell and you're going to get his health down to about 50 to 60 percent also you guys are going to want to make sure that you're doing it next to the location that i showed you guys because if you are too far out this glitch will not work and that's just what i'm about to do and i'll be right back once his health has been lowered All right, now as you guys can see, once his health is low enough, he will do that little foot stomp move. So what you wanna do, as soon as he goes up in the air, you wanna come over to this cliff like I'm at right now, simply edge over just a little bit, not too far out, and hold up your shield just like that. And basically what will happen is your shield will absorb the impact and Radon will fall clearly under the map, insta-killing him just like that. And if you guys have done it correctly, as you can see, you won't die at all. Your shield will absorb all the impact, and he will die because he will fall under the cliff. And that's simply all you guys will do. Super easy, super simple. And that's just how I recommend defeating Radon after the most recent patch and cheesing him out. On to the final glitch, which is going to be the unlimited rune glitch that you guys have been waiting for, I'm pretty sure. But if you made it this far in the video, please be sure to drop a like. Now, as for glitch number three goes, we're going to be at the Dynasty side of Grace, as you guys can see if you don't know how to get to the mogwins palace basically is once you get the pure bloods knights medal you will be spawned into this location and you just want to come to this side of grace like i'm at right now once you guys are in here you want to follow me up the stairs like 
I'm going right now. Go past these enemies. You don't have to worry. They won't harm you at all. Go up the second flight of stairs just like that and then make a left. Once you guys have made that left, you simply want to come slide down these rocks just like this. Now you might take a little fall damage. That's completely cool. It should not be enough to kill you. Now from here, what you're going to do is just follow my path. Make sure you don't get too close to that bird or else he will attack you and chase you to the location that we're going to be at. But the location is going to be right over here next to this little tree. All you're going to do is make a double jump just like I'm doing right now. Once you guys are here, you're going to make another double jump to the wall like towards the right side. I'm going to show it to you guys and then you will be able to see it a little bit better. And if done correctly, it will look exactly like this. And now once you guys have made that first jump, all you're going to do is turn to your left and make another double jump just like that and basically it's going to put you right through nice and easy now i know you guys might be saying you just posted this a couple days ago this is a better way to do it a more efficient way because some people were saying they could not make that double jump so this is how you guys can make the double jump every single time by adding that little rock next to that cliff into the jump now once you guys are falling basically what you're going to do is make sure that you are continuously attacking as you guys see me doing right now and your player basically will be falling endlessly and uh you want to wait a few minutes and you will be smart with some runes and i'll just be right back once i have been spark with those runes. All right, now as you guys can see, my player has been sparked with those runes. So what you're simply going to do is go right back to the side of grace that we started the video at. And as you guys can see, I was given almost 400,000 runes for doing that. I almost have a million runes when I just had 600,000. Also, do keep in mind, make sure you are using the gold pickle foul foot because it does give you more runes when doing these rune glitches. Also, make sure you do use the golden scarab as well because it does give you more runes on top of the pickle foul foot. But there you guys go. That is going to be the end of the video today. Three brand new glitches that you guys can use in Elder Ring after the most recent patch. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Don't forget to drop a like on the video. It's me, your boy, Charles TK. I will catch you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.